right, we are ready. I remembered my coffee this time. Are you guys proud of me? I am because let me tell you, I almost forgot it again. But hello and welcome if you're new here. My name is Katie Marie. I am a lover of eyeshadow palettes. We are doing Kate Miss right now, so you guys got new videos from me every day. So if you like eyeshadow palettes, if you enjoy colorful makeup, if you like just chit-chatting about makeup in general, you might enjoy it around here. But today's video is a special one that I always enjoy doing because I'm going to be doing a Will I Buy It video. And I got my inspiration for this video from these lovely ladies over here, Samantha, Angelica, and Amy. They all do this type of video either weekly or bi-weekly. Highly recommend their channels. Samantha originated the Will I Buy and then Jalica and Amy both gave me the inspiration to focus more on indie brands, so I always like to credit them. But I really enjoy doing these videos and I wish I could do it more because I love being able to sit down and not only talk about new makeup, but I always do these videos as premieres. So it's so very fun to sit with you guys in the live chat and chat with you guys and hear your reaction to all of these products and it's just one of the highlights for me. I'm not able to do live streams right now, so it's the closest I can get to a live stream and still be able to like chat with you guys live, so I really enjoy it and I hope you guys love the premieres too. If you don't catch the premiere, no worries, I don't want to make anyone feel bad for not being able to catch it. I do try to do it on weekends just to make that easier, but anyway, I look forward to filming these videos every single time. But yeah, we're going to keep this intro pretty short and sweet. Let's just go ahead and jump in. We have a lot, a lot of products to talk about, and let's just chit chat and see if I'm interested in buying them or not. If you're new to my Will I Buy It talking about new makeup releases, you might not know this, but I like to put a timer on just to keep these videos a little bit more manageable for me to do, and I don't get a lot of time to film, so 20 minutes makes the video be around 25 minutes, and that's just much more doable for me to get these out to you. So I'm going to start my timer for 20 minutes, and then we'll jump right over. Let me click start, and let's just get started. Um, the first one I want to talk about is this from ColourPop. This is, I know it's ColourPop. ColourPop always has a new release. It's a new day. It's a new ColourPop release. This is with Hello Kitty. I thought Hello Kitty was very cute growing up, but I wasn't super into it, to be honest. But um, the colors in this palette, you know, besides it being a Hello Kitty inspired, the colors in here are really pretty. They're cute. It's a cute layout. It's not super neutral, which I was pleased to see that it wasn't just another neutral palette. They have a little pop of color in there with the more orangey brown, the deeper maroon color there, and the shimmers too are a little bit more unique. Again, not very, it's still very neutral, but a little different. They have glitters I'm never interested. They have, what is this? I don't even know what that is. Lip gloss, I'm assuming. Blushes, Maybe a lip scrub, lip balm over here. I'm not really sure, but as a whole, I'm just, I'm not interested in this. So it's an easy pass for me, but it's a new ColourPop release, so I wanted to mention it. Moving over, this is Ditto Cosmetics. I have been so intrigued to try Ditto Cosmetics, and I think it's really cute that they do this. They have a lot of their palettes that are planet-themed or space-themed, and they do the layout for their palettes like they were planets. And I just find that very unique, different, and just a little fun. Sometimes the layout of the palettes are a little distracting. I do know one of the palettes. I really didn't like it just because there was so much empty space. However, this one, while the layout is still in that planet form, there's not a ton of empty space, so I'm actually not mad at it. And I think if the color story was more interesting. I would be more excited. It does look like it's mostly shimmers though because they all have those colors in it. I'm assuming that's a shimmer. I can't imagine a matte having that type of texture and look to them, but I'm not really sure. However, it's a neutral palette, so it's an easy pass for me to just skip and say, okay, don't want it. However, Ditto Cosmetics is definitely on my radar. Sigma is releasing a new palette, and I'm so intrigued to try Sigma. I've been waiting for them to launch a palette that just really grabs me. They almost did it with that more grungy one that had like a pop of green in it, but I talked myself out of it. And then this palette coming out, like it's really pretty, but it's just not there for me. It's still very leaning very heavy on the neutrals, so I'm just gonna, I'm biding my time, waiting to see. I really like I said, do want to try Sigma. I've heard great things about their formula. I've heard they've improved their formula so much. I've tried their, what is this, Volume 2 palette, the, can I open it, Warm Neutrals. And I think I remember thinking it was fine, but I've just never been curious to go back because they're so neutral for me now. But anyway, all that to say, I'm passing on this, but I'm very curious. I'm hoping that Sigma comes out with something that's a little more colorful in 2021. Oh, I did want to mention this very quickly. I just posted a gift guide for indie makeup the other day, and as soon as I, like, put the video up and had it all set to go, like, ready just to hit publish, I see that Glamlight just announced they have themed makeup for Christmas, and I'm just like, ah, this would have been so perfect to include in the video, and I am going to pin it. It's going live today. I am going to pin a little comment so you guys know, but I wish I could have been able to include these pictures in the video because they're so very cute. You got a foodie box that, like, gingerbread theme. You have gingerbread lashes. You have eggnog lip gloss. It's so cute. So, um, oh, I turned off my internet to try to avoid all of the annoying emails that I get in this video. But anyway, so I can't go and look, but 
they're so very cute. Highly recommend, kind of just echoing what I said in there. If you're looking for a cute something to gift someone makeup-wise for Christmas, highly recommend Glam Light because they do packaging so well. So this is a new brand to me. It's XNO Cosmetics. I Motivate the Earth posted about it, and it just struck me as being really pretty. Like, I feel like if I didn't have a ton of palettes right now to try, and I wasn't, like, drowning in palettes and trying to go back and do my, you know, end-of-the-year videos, I might have picked this up because it's very, it's, like, a very soft, but it still has that color to it. It has those blues. It has that yellow that you guys know grabbed my attention. It has the deeper browns for deepening it. It looks like it has two glitters over there, which is a little, meh. Wish it wasn't in there, but as a whole, I feel like it's a really pretty palette that could give some really pretty looks that were very versatile like I feel like I could go very light almost pastelish with some looks but it could also go really deep and bold and bright especially with like that bright blue and pink and yellow though the yellow might be a little pastelish I don't know something about this palette grabbed my attention I was very intrigued it looks like a collaboration with cupcakes by oh I can't see what that is it's so it's too grainy for me but I don't know. I was very intrigued. I was scrolling. I was like, oh, what is that? It reminded me of the, the layout, at least, I should say, reminded me of the Urban Decay Born to Run. I don't know if you guys saw that, too, in it, but as soon as I saw it, I was like, oh, that looks like Born to Run, the layout and the packaging, but just more interesting colors. Okay, so I had to turn my internet back on because the pictures weren't loading, so I'm sorry for the emails. I try to cut it out when I can. Anyway, Beauty Blender. Launched Beauty Blenders that are the exact same shade as the one they've been selling for eons, but they just have... What is it even called? Your sign. Astrology. What is that word? I'm, I'm totally blanking. However, they just imprinted all of the symbols into the sponge. Like, they didn't even give you new colors. They didn't give you new shapes. They, I mean, I, if they were going to do this, I wish they would have done a sponge in the shape of your sign, which might have been a little weird. Or more so, maybe not exactly like an M-shaped sponge, but, you know, something to do with the shape, do, to do with your sign. I don't know. Just seeing them stamped on here, I was just like, what's the point? I guess if you were needing to buy a sponge and you are into this type of astrology, I think is what it's called, editing Katie is going to be so frustrated because I will have figured it out by then and I wish I would have said it here. But anyway, I just wish there was something a little more interesting than just it being stamped onto the sponge. I feel like that's a little lame and especially like not even a different color. I don't know. I was really disappointed to see that. I'm like, come on, Beauty Blender, please give us something else. This is a new brand to me. I forget what the name is called. Mune Kalashes, I believe is the brand, but it really just struck me this color story. Like down here, I was like, oh wow, that's really pretty. I love the grungy green with the bright red in there. It looks like there's a couple uh, glitters in there. The color story, however, intrigues me. It's like neutral, but a little pop of color, but you can also grungify it. It kind of intrigued me, however. Seeing the packaging, I I'm not into the packaging, so I'm not going to be getting it. However, I thought I would mention it here because the color story really intrigued me. For being very soft and neutral and having so many neutrals over there, I feel like it could still give really pretty colors or like really pretty looks. I feel like I could create a couple really fun eye looks with it, um, with that green, with the red, and there's the orange in there. I don't know, something about it. And even the neutral color, like that spiked rum, I'm assuming. I feel like that'd be a really fun mustard to smoke out in your crease or something. I don't know. I was very intrigued with the color story until I saw the packaging and then I was like, okay. Never mind, moving on. Not my speed. Shop Violet Boss released this little mini, which I think is really cute. Uh, it's, what is it even called? Gingerbread? Uh, oh Snap Mini Palette. It's really cute. I hear no one talking about this. Um, it's got a row of, oh no, they're not, there's four shimmers and the rest are mattes, it looks like. There's a black in there, there's a shimmer red, there's a shimmer gold. I wish there was a little bit more interest with the mattes and I think I might be more tempted to get it because the mattes are that kind of they're just really neutral brown or warm brown and then a you know beige color and whatnot the really only interesting matte for me in there that I would be excited to use is the red and the black but overall I just thought it was very cute and also I remember I want to go over here this palette also launched not too long ago is the tie-dye 4 palette it's actually really pretty and I'm surprised I don't hear more people talking about it. I don't know. Something about it just really grabs me. However, when I really zoom in and look at what's matte and what's shimmer, that's the reason I didn't pick it up or I'm not planning to pick it up. Because if you're looking at the mattes, two of the mattes are brown, which I feel like with all those bright, colorful shimmers, I just don't feel like brown often goes with it. I, I don't like mixing brown and smoking it out and then doing a very bright color on the lid because I feel like where the color ends and the matte brown you know, where those two meet, it just always looks odd. I remember doing it 
with a like a shimmer blue and it was in beautiful bright blue and then I ha tried to smoke and deepen out the outer corner with the brown and it just clashed it just didn't look that nice I like my you know shimmers to mattes to almost be like you can't even tell where it ends and where it begins like that ombre between the two is just perfect so I don't like working with browns and very bright colorful shimmers so that's the biggest reason I wish they would have done black honestly I feel like black would have been a lot prettier and you know more doable and just more interesting and made this palette a little bit more interesting in my eyes at least and then also just another other color I don't even know what other color maybe a pink maybe a yellow in there like a matte yellow and stuff like that and then I would have been a little bit more intrigued it would have excited me a little bit more or matte blue would have been cool anyway it just missed the mark for me a little bit however I was tempted for a couple of minutes because I did think initially when I looked at it, I was like oh that's very pretty Kiko Milano, oh my goodness they do packaging so well every time I see Kiko Milano's packaging I'm just like I want it all. However, I have yet to get one because I am not interested in the products inside them because they're just not me. Like this eyeshadow palette is gorgeous, isn't it? But the eyeshadow palettes are all shimmer. They're all very like light washes of color, so it's not for me. These lipsticks, however, I was honestly very tempted. I just don't buy lipsticks that often. What else was in here? Like look at the, look at the highlighters. Look at this uh, mascara, even as fancy the um, eyeshadow right there. Like how pretty. Makes me think of Nars. Like their packaging is just. Oh my goodness, look at that highlighter palette. Even their liner is just so pretty. Like their packaging, Kiko Milano just kills it. And I want to try Kiko Milano simply because their packaging is beautiful. And this holiday collection I think is absolutely gorgeous. So I had to pin it real quick. I don't plan to pick it up. However, I am tempted though. And I'm maybe in at the end of the year when things go on sale at Ulta. If any of Kiko Milano stuff goes on sale at Ulta, I have a bunch of points saved up. I might splurge and buy some just for pretty packaging. I wanted to touch on this really quick. Lawless uh, Cosmetics is coming out with Bio Glitter Eyeshadow. It's, I think the only shade is Spark. Oh, they've got Champagne Dreams and sparkly, Sparkling Rose. I'd love to know if you guys know anything about this, but I have heard some people say that there's no such thing as biodegradable glitter. Like anything that's created with glitter, even the more sustainable and not the traditional glitter with it being plastic, still isn't sustainable in like earth friendly and not harming the earth I guess is what I'm trying to say I forget where it was a tweet of someone who owned a different brand saying like you know I looked into it and like biodegradable glitter isn't a thing it's just a selling tactic kind of thing so I'd love to know if you guys know anything about that I'm very much on the fence of like I like sparkly things but glitter is kind of a hassle so this doesn't draw me to it knowing that it's biodegradable and glitter because I just, you know, if I don't need to work with glitter, I'd rather metallic. I've always told you, just shiny. I don't need it to be sparkly. Sparkly is pretty, but I don't have to have it sparkly. I just like it shiny. So for me, this doesn't really draw me in. But when I saw bio glitter, I think it was supposed to, it says bio glitter. I think that means biodegradable. Bio glitter has all the shimmer you love from the conventional glitter without the harmful plastics that come with it. It's 99.6% biodegradable and clean, vegan, and cruelty free. Available in two. Okay, so they're not saying it's 100% biodegradable. Maybe that's the difference. I don't know. I'd love to hear if you know anything about that because I don't I just remember seeing that tweet and going like huh I wonder if it you know it makes a difference if you get biodegradable glitter or you know just safer glitter over a traditional glitter I'd love to know if you know any more information but I'm not getting this anyway I just was very intrigued and love to hear your guys's thoughts okay next up is shop Viet beauty I Viet no what's the what's the brand name Iviet. I know I'm butchering this. I'm so sorry, but I got their autumn palette that I have right here. I've done three looks with it. It's a really pretty palette. Like Color Story, she killed it. And I didn't need to get this palette. I'm not that I didn't. I didn't need to have another palette, but this Color Story, I couldn't resist picking it up. So I did pick it up. I really enjoyed it. Is it like the most pigmented and crazy formula ever? No, I'd say it's a little more buildable of a formula and it takes a little bit more work to get there, but you can get such beautiful colors with this you can get such beautiful eye looks and the intensity that you see here you can build it up to that intensity on your eyes so I was very impressed with this little palette and so when I saw that she was launching a new palette for the winter I was like oh my goodness you're gonna do a good job because you killed it with the autumn I can't wait to see what you do with the winter and here is the final look at it here's the full reveal I am going to pass for sure because it looks like there are one two three four five glitters too many for me and there's just a lot you know glitters aside there's just a lot of shimmer glitter and not enough mattes for me the only mattes that I see in here are the Secret Santa Tis a Season and Sleigh Ride and that just doesn't give me a lot of you know it doesn't give me a lot of creativity and doesn't inspire me for me personally when it comes to my eye makeup mattes really are what inspires me and the shimmers are just kind of the added bonus I need one or two I can do a whole look with just you know matte so shimmers aren't really don't make the palette for me and don't inspire me too much because I just don't like to have a lot of them and not enough 
of mattes because then I feel a little stuck. So for me, this was an easy pass when I saw it, but I wanted to share because I, I definitely have my eyes on this brand. I can't wait to see what they come out in 2021. They did a great job with this palette. Glam Light launched the little, what is it even called? This was a bundle they had on Black Friday, the Paint Pro. They have the Paint Palette, which is the larger one up top. They've had that for a while, and they just came out for Black Friday with the Paint Pro, and I believe if I remember correctly, it's a limited edition palette. So I'm kind of glad I skipped on it because when I was considering buying the little palette, the new one, I didn't know it was limited edition. But since it's limited edition and I'm swamped on palettes, it's a good thing I passed because I just wouldn't have been able to do much with it. However, I was very tempted because the last time I reviewed a Glam Light palette, it was the pastel palette. And I was like, I need to give Glam Light one more try with their bright palettes. Like, they're really colorful, very vibrant colors and see what I think of the formula. And then kind of decide from there if Glam Light is a formula or a brand that I enjoy their eyeshadow formulas. So then they launched this and I was like, oh shoot, now I have to try it because I just said I wanted to try a bright, colorful formula from them. But I ended up saying no just because... I'm so swamped on eyeshadow palettes and like I said I'm glad that I did but let me know if you own one or either of these because I was I almost bought the bundle and just bought both of them I know I was crazy Ooh, Juvia's Place just launched this palette with Yam oh my goodness I'm gonna butcher Yami Angel Angelina Yami J Angelina I think is her name they just did this collaboration they just launched it a couple days ago and I was smitten it just looks so bright and colorful it's so beautiful however I did find out what did I even do with my palette it's right here I was going back and forth on if I should get it to review, but then I remembered that I recently tried the Ofra Beachside palette, and for me, they're just too close for me to justify purchasing. And also, too, the Juvia's Place has a glitter in it. I think it's the bronze and the pink one. It's either one or two glitters. So that right there kind of, you know, out of six shadows with one or two being glitters, that was a deterrent. And then looking at the mattes, which is what I was most intrigued on, the yellow, the pink, and the brown in there, it definitely reminded me of this because it has the pink, the brown, and the yellow matte in it, and then the blue shimmer. So if you have this palette, I just want to throw it out there. Uh, if you were considering buying this, you know, maybe pull this out and make sure you like the color story because I definitely think that Juvia's Place would probably be a little more intense and impactful when it comes to the mattes. Though I feel like I could, I blended this and built this up just fine to get a really impactful color, but... I figured I would share. When I saw that the beach side was basically a dupe, I was like, okay, Katie, you don't need it. Beautiful packaging, absolutely pretty, but it's got the glitter and you already have the palette essentially in your collection. Black Moon Cosmetics is coming out with the lipsticks. This is Sinister Satin Lipsticks, and I think they're all coming in coffins. Not my vibe. I haven't seen the full drop. Maybe they have it out by now. Yeah, there's a couple of them. Ooh, those are all the shades. They're pretty and whatnot, but just the, the whole aesthetic for these lipsticks aren't exactly me, so I'm going to pass. I'm also someone who doesn't always jump when it comes to lipsticks to buy them right away. I tend to wait for sales and whatnot. That shade right there, the S on the bottom, is really pretty. But uh, yeah, I figured I would mention it. They, I guess they come, like, they're packaging the box that the lipsticks come in is a little coffin. Smashbox came out with cream shadows always on. I love their always on line. I have so many of their gel liners that I really do like. They stay really well in my waterline. What else do I have from the always on? I think I have an eyeshadow primer. I have their lipsticks. Oh my goodness, their lipsticks always on lipsticks and liquid lipsticks are amazing. So when I saw they were coming out with cream shadows, I was like, oh, I'm actually really intrigued. And if I were to buy one, you guys know I would get olive, but also that, oof, what am I doing? aquamarine oh no ultramarine that's really pretty too and also okra Ooh, okra is pretty I don't tend to use creams however so I'm definitely passing on this because I just feel like I don't work well with them I like to work with powders I'm not someone who tends to use colored bases often so I just don't think about it however those three okra olive and ultramarine very pretty and I'm sure they'll stay so well because like I said they're always online is very very good it's always on Ooh, Colored Rain is coming out with bronzers, and I'm so excited. This is just a little sneak peek, a first look, but I definitely want to pick one up because I just have this thing for bronzers and contours. I love to try new ones. This one all the way at the end. Whoa, what am I doing? This one all the way at the end looks very pretty, something I feel like I would really, really like, and yeah, I cannot wait to see more. I cannot wait to find out more. They just said coming soon uh, earlier or a couple weeks ago, so... We shall see, but I'm sure they'll do a good job. I really enjoy Colored Rain. I cannot wait to see the packaging for these. I think they'll be very pretty. And yeah, I just oddly get very excited for bronzers. Oh my goodness, I was just about to start. There's my timer. I tried to do it on something else, but not gonna lie, Gideon was playing with it the other day and I'm pretty sure he changed that because I don't remember doing that blow horn. But anyway, my timer's done. Let me finish out with this since I'm here. Morphe collabed with Lisa Frank. 
I was so into Lisa Frank as a kid. It is funny to look back because I feel like it's a little hint of what I would later grow to enjoy doing on my eyes. Like I love all the color and it just makes me think of Lisa Frank, like all the colorful animals. Um, yeah, Lisa Frank, I was so into it. I remember not getting to actually own it very often because it always was a little bit more expensive. Like if there was a notebook or something or a journal or whatever, what have you, it was a couple dollars more. So I know growing up, I wasn't often able to, you know, my parents didn't often get it for me. So when I actually did get one, I remember having a notebook and I used up all the pages but I didn't throw it out because I just kept the cover because it was so beautiful I absolutely loved it so looking at Lisa Frank anything Lisa Frank just brings back so many memories and I always thought they were so beautiful and I still do like this this little lion or tiger adorable However, Lisa Frank is a little shady now. I know she's kind of, she's been in some things that's very disappointing to hear. And then Morphe also too. I don't really trust Morphe. But something else someone said, this is the 35B palette that they discontinued. And I thought they discontinued it right before they collabed with um, James Charles. And I thought James Charles palette was supposed to replace the 35B palette. And that was like a year and a half ago or something, but now they're coming out with this collab and I don't know if it's just for a little while, but as far as I know, it's the same exact palette, the 35B palette. So you'll have to let me know if that's an actual thing. If you have the 35B, I didn't, I never got it when it was available, so I don't know for sure. Like, I can't remember what the palette looked like, but that's what I heard. So for all those reasons, and it's Morphe, it was an easy pass for me, but I thought I would share because Lisa Frank, uh, still to this day, it's so pretty. And I know my daughter would get so excited over that one, like the unicorns. With all that color, oh, she, she'll get into Lisa Frank. The moment she discovered that Lisa Frank is a thing and all the beautiful things that, you know, you can get with Lisa Frank designs on it, she's going to be all over it because she loves color and she loves unicorns. Oh yes, Sugar Pill. They came out with their 10th anniversary collection and they included a new palette, a new capsule palette. Um, this is what the layout looks like. I feel like it's very repetitive. I'd have to see them all side by side, but I feel like they always have just different shade, different hues of the same shade because they always have those green. I guess it's more yellow. I feel like they always have that blue in there. They always have those kind of blushy tones in there and those kind of peachy tones. But maybe I'm just not remembering it correctly. I'd have to, like I said, see it side by side. But yeah, they came out with a bunch of stuff for their 10 year anniversary, which is cute. I mean, it's very pretty like this packaging right there. I feel like that'd be a fun gift to get. But when we're talking about the palette, um, it's pretty. I feel like it'd be a very pretty spring palette. So maybe that's a great time to get it, you know, gifted to someone now in December, just in time for spring. But I, I don't know. I'm just not crazy about their packaging. I'm just not crazy about that capsule packaging. I get it. It's cute. I'm glad they do it because it definitely goes with their brand, but it's just not for me. Like the aesthetic is just not for me. So it's always an easy pass. Okay. I'm just going to throw this in right here because I totally forgot that I wanted to touch on the Jeffree Star green money, blood money. I forget what it's called, but it's the green theme palette that he just launched. And he announced it like a day or two after I recorded my last one. I was like, shoot, I could have included it in my last one, but, but I wasn't able to. So I do want to touch on it very briefly here and just let you guys know that I love the color story. Oh my goodness, the color story is beautiful. It's so green and beautiful. Everything about the color story I want. I think it's gorgeous. And I've heard such amazing things about Jeffree Star's formula that I'm just like, oh my goodness, I'm sure that would be really, 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 really nice. I'm not gonna be getting it though because it is Jeffree Star. I always say that I don't like actually cancel brands, but I guess this goes to show that, you know, you have those exceptions and I feel like Jeffree is just the exception, not only for his past and everything he's done, but as a person, as a brand. I just don't think he treats and deals with his customers very nice. I've just heard so many stories over the years and that's the biggest reason for me why I just can't make that purchase. And there's so many other amazing indie brands that I would rather support. So even though he came out with a palette of my dreams, you could say with that green palette that is just so pretty, I don't want to send my money to him. So I'm not going to get it. I did think about like picking it up from Macari because in that case it's like already purchased from him. Like if it was a reasonable price, I wouldn't be paying like 10 times the price. But like if someone was getting rid of their palette for cheaper than what it costs or around what it costs to buy it brand new, I was like, oh, maybe I could get it then because it wouldn't be going to Jeffree Star. Maybe I'll still do that. Maybe I won't. But yeah, I'm not going to be picking it up though because it is Jeffree Star Cosmetics. So just want to touch on that really quick because I missed doing it in my last one. Let's go ahead and keep on going with the outro. All right, so those are all the products that I'm going to be talking about. I'm going to go ahead and do the outro over here. That way I'm able to put any late breaking releases over here. And that way I can, you know, still talk about them and mention them and mention my thoughts on them. So that'll be over here. Watch this week. There'll be no new releases or nothing late breaking. That would be funny. But anyway, I'm just going to do that from now on. So if there's anything new, it'll be here. But yeah, that's going to do it for my new releases. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I always enjoy sitting down here and chit-chatting with you guys while I have some coffee and wake up for the rest of the day. But... 
As always, let me know what you think. If you didn't get to be here for the premiere, let me know your thoughts down below in a comment. I'd love to chit chat with you guys and hear what you guys think about all the new releases and what excites you. And let me know if you're planning to get anything. Um, I think I went through all those and each one of them was an easy no. But it's a good thing because I have so many palettes that I'm trying to work through right now. So it's, it's good that nothing is screaming at me and tempting me too much. So with all that said, thank you so very much for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, per usual, please give it a thumbs up down below in the comments on your way out as it helps me in the whole YouTube algorithm. And if you want to continue getting daily-ish content from me. I will probably be missing a couple days with Vlogmas going on, but I'm over on Instagram. I'm LadyKatie92 over there, and I typically upload about every day, and I put either pictures, close-up eye shots, or I do product flat lays. I do a bunch of fun reels. I'm having so much fun with reels, but yeah, check me out over there if you want more content from me other than on YouTube, and yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying Kate Miss. Make sure you go over and enter the giveaway. I have a giveaway of running the whole month of December, two big old boxes of makeup that you have a chance to win. I'll leave that linked up here, and also down in the description box. And with all that said, I will see you very soon in my next video tomorrow. Bye guys.